Hi, I'm Paris, and I'm just topping off my new helium-filled hard drive. Actually, that's not how it works, but if you want a very large capacity drive these days, chances are it's going to be helium-filled. In the news last month, they announced a 14 terabyte drive that they just released, helium-filled. Eight terabyte, that's all I could afford, and the reason I wanted this large drive is to help sort out all the data on all of these drives. This is my New Year data house cleaning. It isn't gonna help with all the stuff in boxes in the closets and garage, but at least my data will be in order after this. This hard drive looks pretty much like any standard desktop hard drive. This has a SATA connector for data and power. It's not the higher end server drive, but my price limit was about $200, and I picked this up for $199. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. The main physical differences between this helium filled drive and a standard hard drive is that this hard drive is sealed closed. The two halves of it were sealed together, whereas in a standard hard drive, they just screw them together. This also has no breathing port. It's completely hermetically sealed. Standard hard drives do have a small little port to allow a small amount of air to enter or escape. The other difference with this, it is heavy. They've put additional platters into this, which are like little records that get read, that's where all the data is stored. And the reason they're able to cram so many platters into this is because it has helium rather than regular air. Helium has one seventh the volume of the air in this room, which is good because it produces less turbulence with those very fast spinning platters and the reed heads. Some of the limitations on standard hard drives is the turbulence, the air turbulence produced by the drive itself running. With helium, that seatbelt sign almost never comes on. Now, if you're saying, well, if helium's better with less volume, why not create a vacuum and have the drive run that way? Well, those drive heads, they float on a layer of air. And if you're worried about the helium leaking out of the drive and causing problems, which was my original thought, most people's experience with helium is in party balloons and it doesn't stay there too long. They have not had an issue with that over the five years that these have been in existence and they are warranted for five years, but if you go out 10 or 15 years in the future, I don't know, maybe by then everything will be solid state storage. This is my Ryzen build from spring of 2017. I have an M2 drive back in there, the fastest thing in this whole setup. And I've got a fairly fast solid state drive here. In this state-of-the-art case, old-fashioned spinning hard drives go on the back of the motherboard. Here underneath the back cover of the case, you can see my Western Digital 3 terabyte drive and my other spot to put a hard drive Looks like underneath of these wires, let me take out this plate, attach the drive, and make sure it's all going to fit. Tight squeeze, but I fit it in there. Got the data cables plugged into the motherboard. Let's see how it runs. I have a folder with 85 files in it, about half video clips, and it's about 13.6 gigabytes in size. Let's see the transfer speed to copy it over here. Yeah, I didn't think it was really going that fast. <laughs> That's just the caching. And a read test. I'm going to take that same folder, 13.6 gigabytes, and copy it back onto my C drive, which is an M.2 very fast drive. Boy, close to 200. Nice speed. I'm pleased with that. Well, I am pleased with the read and write speeds of my new drive. My older three terabyte drive is a 5400 RPM drive, so it's going to be slower, but the speed difference is about double, which matters a lot when you're transferring terabytes of data. Find out more about the good deal I got on that eight terabyte helium drive at the link down below this video. And whether it's on a drive that breathes helium or regular air, just make sure to back up your data onto a second hard drive. The day will come, you'll be glad you did. See you on the next review.